This SMP is unbalanced. The poor get poorer and the rich get richer, with every fight ending with just a few players on top, and I'm part of the problem. Me and my teammate Chaos have dominated this SMP since day one, and both killed tons of players, putting us both on positive 8 effects. Wait, what do you mean 8 positive effects? On the outcome SMP, whenever you kill a player, you gain a positive potion effect, and whenever you die to a player, you gain a negative potion effect. I have to say that in every video because there's always new people here. If you're new, SUBSCRIBE! God, that was cringe. Okay, I do have an actual plan of how to restore equality to the server. Step one, distribute items to the poor. Let's get grinding. Plan collect resources had been completed. Now let's go distribute them to the players. But as I was about to start distributing, a player called Pizza Dog, who had five positive effects, approached me with a deal. I would fight him with no armor, and he would get a full set because I'm I'm way better at PvP than him. And he would put three effects on the line if I would put three effects on the line. And because I knew I needed to drain a lot of positives, I thought I had to take the risk. I lost the duel, bringing him up to 8 effects and me down to only 5. Was the plan really destined to go like this? Was it really destined to fail this quickly? I can't give up, at least not till I distribute the items that I grinded. Let's get distributing. But anyways, let's get on to step two of the plan, obtaining effects. But there was one massive obstacle for this plan. This is chaos. My teammate for the entire server, but also the richest, deadliest, and most bloodthirsty player on the entire server. And I had to kill him. Which would be a much harder task than it sounds, by the way, because Chaos has died once this entire season to players. And so I stopped playing. Killing Chaos seemed like an impossible goal, and the server was just going to get more into disrepair. There wasn't anything I could do to save the poor players when Chaos was richer and better at the game than me, so I might as well give up. And for a week I watched from afar, not really logging onto the server, and kind of accepting that the server would end unbalanced. But no, I can't give up. I can't give up when there's players on the server who need me, are depending on me, to save the server. This server needs to be balanced, 
and I will find a way to kill Chaos. I don't care if it takes every item I have, every effect I have, I'm going to kill Chaos. So I turned and went to the only player in the history of this server who has ever killed Chaos. It's Killa. But I've wronged him so many times. Who's saying he would trust me? Who's saying he wouldn't just kill me on the spot? I decided he was my only hope, and so I reached out through Discord and asked him to talk. Vampoo's not- And hello, Rookie! Hi. Hello. Hello. Basically, I've called you here because, well, I need your help. Chaos and Vempu are planning something, and I, I can't- I can't stand behind them anymore. I've been working for the last, like, week or two to try and restore equality to the server, and try and fix all of the wealth gaps, and I don't know what they're planning, but they're planning something bad. And I know if their plan succeeds, it's probably going to end the outcome. And I don't know many people, especially not many people who actually are decent at the game and have positive effects, so I thought you were really the only option I had to go to because all of my all of the people I'm allied with are with Chaos. And mm. I need to betray that team because I I don't think what they're doing is Good. Well, someone, someone needs to stop him. Are you in? I say, let's do it. All right. There I was. I finally had a teammate I could trust in the fight against chaos, and everything was looking up until it wasn't. Chaos is here. Oh. Chaos had shown up after me and Killer's meeting had ended and was getting suspicious that I was planning to betray him. Which all culminated in this happening. It's not worth it, it's not worth it. Vempu's gonna pull up, I'm just gonna run. I don't think we can fight him. I don't have anything to do. No more Yeah, room! dude, your gear isn't good enough. Wait, is he attacking no more? No, he was like not letting me get down the ladder. Hey, no more time to me. Can you jump? Yeah. You can jump I'm off so the side I of mean, the I tower can... into the pool if you're trying to get down faster. He would probably oh, work with us if I act. Oh fuck! Oh god, I don't have my axe. Wait, I do. Oh, oh, I'm getting... <laughs> oh dear. I. Oh god, he has oh, poison potions. I'm dead, dude. ocean really quickly. Wait, do I have Death Strider? I really hope I have Death Strider. I do! Wait, he's- Are I'm out of his render distance. I'm out of his render distance. I think I get- I think I get away here. I think I get away here. I'm not in his render distance. I did, in fact, get away. Basically, somehow I managed to convince Chaos that I wasn't going to betray him, and he let me in on the plan? And here's the plan. Doomsday is where we're going to create chaos and wreak havoc on spawn. But that's extremely so, vague. I know it's vague. But more will be revealed soon. Besides that, do you enjoy spawn at the moment? I like it a lot. Spawn is very pretty. Yeah, on Doomsday it wouldn't be so pretty. Okay. Let's just say me and Venpu might be gathering a specific resource that can be used to destroy pretty much everything within a matter of seconds. Okay. And if you're in on this, you will be protected from it. They were asking me to join their plan, 
Could I really do it? Could I really go along with a plan to destroy the server? So, what do you say? I'm in. Welcome to the team. Now that Chaos was convinced I was on the team, I had access to all of the team's secrets and plans, and I was able to spread them all to the Rebels team that was slowly forming from me and its killer. Oh. Son of a bitch. With Chaos now knowing about my betrayal and the Resistance, the Resistance began a full-out war with Chaos. Trust me, that was more than it looks. That's like five days worth of footage of random fights. I had to cut so many deaths and other kills out of that. Anyways, I challenged one of the members of the team, Deanzio, to a fair 1v1. Oh, I didn't bring poison pot. You missed that miserably. He does have a god apple, so that's slightly concerning. He didn't eat it yet, I'll know he ate it when he stopped taking fire today. Okay, he got himself too, this might just let me put drop in here or anything. Actually, he's got the resistance plus low health. Thank you. 
constant fire damage. So that's my big advantage here. And after that, the man himself, Chaos, offered me a 1v1, and I knew I had to take the opportunity. I knew I probably wouldn't win, but I had to make a stand and show him that I wasn't just a player he could mess around with. me again and I had failed. I had wasted time, wasted items, and my team was only worse off because of my actions. But Chaos still wanted to destroy the server on August 1st, but I wasn't gonna let that happen. Chaos, I am going to fight you with every item, effect, and teammate I have to make sure that you can't do what you're planning to do. 
see you guys in early August when I'm gonna make my follow-up video because it's just part one because this video was gonna be like 40 minutes long and we, we can't have that we just can't have that the algorithm will murder me subscribe